I've been teaching in District 833 for 42 years. In fact, in June, we'll, I will be retiring. And I've loved the experience. But what I really, really love about speech is that I'm able to learn so much about the world around me. And I also get to meet some really amazing people along the way. This past year, I was lucky enough to qualify for a spot to go to nationals. Making it to nationals, especially from the highly competitive state of Minnesota, is no small feat at all. She also was asked to speak to all of our teachers at the beginning, the back to school ceremony, which I think is such a huge honor. Uh, she's also exceptionally humble. John has something called San Filippo syndrome, which is a degenerative syndrome, which will cause John to lose ability over time. This syndrome does put a timestamp on a child's life. John has taught everyone that works with him, everybody that he interacts with, that it's about building those relationships with the people around you. It's about making the most of what you got. It's about living each day to the fullest and getting the most you can out of it. Delaney was accepted to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, or MCAT. She is our first avid student to receive um, acceptance to a four-year college. And she will also earn a scholarship um, that's $12,000 a year, renewable for four years. When I found out that I got accepted and got their scholarship, it was just out of this world. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, and we all like yelled and it was, it was really funny. It was like, highlight of this year probably is all this just going woo because it was so exciting. My favorite subject in school is math because math really helps you when you, for your career if you're going to be doing things like engineering which I want to do. One of the things I want to be doing in engineering is working with computers to like build new ones and do different things so my computers can go all around the world and many people can use them. After I retired, um, I knew I wanted to do something. I've lived in Cottage Grove 43 years and I volunteered at Crestview here all the time. As much as I could, I was always up here. So it was kind of like home. She applied for the AmeriCorps position last spring and we jumped on board with hiring her right away, just knowing her personality would be a great fit for this building. There was an opening and I was lucky enough to get it and I'm so fulfilled. The biggest thing I've learned from Mrs. Bernie is to have confidence in myself. Folks always ask me, like, why do you want to become a school board member and why do you want to go through all this? And I will tell you that when you get to June and we get to hand out 1,700 diplomas and you get to see the excitement in those kids' eyes, it's just an incredible feeling that you feel, you know, you had a little piece of that.